may have seen on social media lately that um, I bought myself a new bike, haven't I? <laughs> Hey up YouTubers, how are we? Simon B here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, hope you're keeping safe out there. Look where we're at. Eh? That's a Dudden estuary. Is that one? Millam Havrig over there. Blackcomb covered in um, low cloud. And up through the Dudden Valley into uh, the Lake District. Oh yeah, you may have seen on social media lately that um, I bought myself a new bike, haven't I? Another one. Yeah, what do you think of it, love? Yeah? As you've probably just seen on the um, introduction and the pano not the panoramic shots, the um, the creative shots of the bike, um, I've bought myself a Hus Hushvana. Hushvana. I think that's how you pronounce it, probably gets slated for it. Um, Vit Pitten. And what an awesome little machine it is very underrated as you know I sold my uh, CCM uh, about a month ago and I've missed it ever since um, I could have done with could have done with um, a bit of a Sunday bike and I went looking around and thought what can I get what can I what do I want what do I need what could I get I was looking at a BMW 9 RT I looked around and they were just a little bit too much money that I wanted to spend really I did fancy a summer bud uh, flat tracker but there's a waiting list for them and they're about just under eight grand and I thought I can't be spending much I can't be spending that much sort of money on something so I got looking about and uh, the Hushvana came up single cylinder similar to the uh, CCM um, what an awesome little machine very very underrated absolutely absolutely really fun little bike um, and it's not really little you know it's, it's a 700 single cylinder uh, KTM engine in it and it's brill absolutely brill I've heard people complaining that um, you get a bit of vibration well you do really through the bars just one of those things the quick shifter and the down shifter oh dear me absolutely phenomenal it's got ABS traction control all on this little bike um, this thing I bought it was bought in from London this little thing's got 1800 mile on the clock but it's got a bit more than that on it because I've been riding it for the last two days and it's brill what more would you need for a bit of a Sunday bike not a bad price and as um, some of you may already know that they've stopped making the 701 the 401 is um, it's very the 401 is very popular I think it's on an A2 license so that's that is a very popular bike but the um, the 701 in this country I can't really find a great lot of people that have it everybody's rode and thought they were they were they've been good but whoever's rode them and, and and reviewed them doesn't don't own one weird very weird it's a bit like the ducati hypermotad that i've got um you want to ride one of them well to be honest with you you want to ride one of these now because this is it, it's just it's just oh it's just dead it's just good it's just fun the bike it's got a character it goes well, it stops well, and like I say, that quick shift and down shift is just brill. Um, adjustable suspension, WP suspension front and back. Um, no preload on the front, but no compression on the rear. So not fully adjustable, but adjustable enough. It rides really well. People complain about the, the, the vibration, yeah, on the handlebars. I'm gonna have a look into that, see what I can do with that. Um, it's it's nowhere near as vibrating as uh, the CCM Spitfire. Nowhere near. You wouldn't even think this was a single cylinder. It is really, really smooth. Looking at little bits of features on it, I'll tell you what, what I liked the other day. Oh, where, where did it find it? There we go, on the wheels. Look at it. 
look at the little Husqvarna um, emblems on the wheels. But even even the the plastic the plastic um, foot guards. I've got Husqvarna on that one. It's got a like a Povic on it, a big scratch on it. But um, there's little little tiny bits of um, the thing. You know, it's even got them on the um, on the front wheels. Look, little Husqvarna there. Big lump of an engine to stick in a little bike. It's um, it's bizarre, really. Look at it. I've removed the rear uh, foot pegs and put an um, exhaust hanger on it, which opens the um, the back end up a bit. It was clean this morning before I took out on it, but the only gripe I have apart, apart from the bit of vibration, I think it's the same clutch cylinder, master cylinder, as, um, well it feels similar to the KTM Super Adventure S. And every now and again when you pull it in, it clicks. And I don't know why, it sort of, I don't know, it, it, it's as though the, the piston in, in sort of moves and um, it's annoying. So, let's take it for a run up the road, shall we? See you soon. Welcome back, YouTubers. You probably had the um, the walk around of the uh, the new Vit Pitten. Like a spit bitten because of the uh, handlebars that are on it. Um, thought we'd just have a Ross up here, a Ross, and um, show you what this Lal thing can do. And it's not really a Lal thing. It's um, it's 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 rather good. No, it's better than rather good. It's bloody good. And I think it's a un very underestimated motorcycle that's on the market. Well, it was on the market, but they stopped making the um, 701s now. Which is a shame, but might be a good thing for me because they might come a bit collectible. Which would be quite good. But, um... Listen, that acrophobic. Acrophobic, or whatever you want to call it. And the upshifter, downshifter. Seamless. Absolutely seamless. Into a corner. Put it down. You don't use your clutch. You don't need to. It's got a straight through pipe on it with an acrophobic half pen. So there's no cat on it now. That's why it's so noisy. There's no baffles in the um, acrophobic um, exhaust. Being the um, cylinder it stops well as well KTM 690 689 single cylinder engine it's just got loads of bottom end torque But it's um you know a bit oh it's a single it's it's rattly it isn't no as you know i told me um ccm spitfire that was a single 600 and that would vibrate this thing doesn't the only vibration i'm getting on this um on this motorcycle at the moment is through the handlebars the left hand side's worse than the right hand side because the, the right hand side's got the throttle tube hasn't it so you've got a little bit of a, you've got a little bit of play there and um, so you're not getting as much 
through that way. Um, but for a single cylinder, this thing does not vibrate. The mirrors you can't see through when you're doing 67 mile an hour. But that's just one of those things, isn't it, really? What do you need mirrors for? Now it's going to be behind you. Right, it's not like this, like this. Yeah, we came up here with the um, first ride of Ducati, didn't we? But, um, I can't go and use the clutch, I'm trying to turn myself not to be using the clutch because you, you don't need to. And it does a bit of backfighting which is good. But with the fit pin, you usually have um, lower bars which I didn't really which I didn't really fancy really and this already has a bit changed it's had a new yoke on it as you can see new chop yoke and um, a new set of bars they're not the same as the the the, 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 the spec bitten or split bitten what you want to call it um, they're a little bit lower but what I think the vip bitten because of the um, the lower bars probably didn't sell as well but they're a rare bit of a beast really Um, and they, like I said, they've stopped making the, um, the 701s, which is a shame, an absolute shame. Because, they're an absolute hoot! anything under 3,000 revs, which he doesn't really like, being a single, that's just one of those things isn't it really? Oh. The thing just goes. this will be the um, environment that this um, little bike is accustomed to to be roads like this as well as the one that we've just been on turn the sheep just here girls well as you can hear that um, that quick shifter it's just seamless absolutely it's, there's no judder there's no hesitation absolutely nothing with it even down just then fourth third it's like a just a fully automatic sequential gearbox like flappy paddle thing and you don't have to have to wind off the throttle up or down it's 
single disc on the front, full Brembo. Um, people would say, oh, it's only should have twin. Look, it stops. Plus, you've got the ABS. Seems to be doing a lot of. Um, I don't think they're linked. So I'm using the back brake quite a bit. But the back, it, it seems a lot. The back brake is, you know, you, you go into a corner and stick the back brake on it, and, and as you know it, it, it sticks the bike up a bit. So it allows it to, I don't know, it just, it just feels a little bit better. I think we've been up here before, haven't we? We've never been back this way. You can see all that. The town of Wolverston. Sounds well though, doesn't it? No two gears, just like that. Seamless, absolutely brilliant. You know, on a bike that's not that's not expensive. You know, this is this is now it's a four-year-old bike, 2018, and I was looking at probably a Ducati Ducati Scrambler. Somebody says they're for hairdressers, that's why I didn't get one. Um, I like the the big the newer ones than the older ones, so we didn't go for anything like that. Um, R19 were too expensive. It's not much different than the um, GS, and this thing comes into sort of like the same sort of area as the uh, first scramblers that, and stuff that came out. And um, <laughs> I'd have this thing, a Triumph scrambler, or probably even a Ducati scrambler. Yeah, and like, I kept, like I've said probably twice that uh, they've stopped making them last year. So I might become a bit of a collector. So first ride out on the um, Hus Husqvarna. Husqvarna. I think it's no, it's more Husqvarna, isn't it? Husqvarna. Um, Vin Pitten with the uh, spin, spin, spit Pitten. York and, um, and bars on it, which is, makes it more comfortable, which is nice. And it even looks well. <laughs> so yeah, if you enjoyed that video, and if you're ever in the area and you want to come ride one of my bikes that I keep telling you to um, either buy or get ridden, um, give me a shout. So don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thanks very much. Um, if you're new here, just stumbled across this again which you probably will have done don't forget click that subscribe button ring that bell every time I upload a video you'll get a notification if you're out there ride safe be safe and keep safe don't get covid hell fight it's on its way up again now isn't it and um as they say we'll see you soon Well, just before you all go, um, just a big shout out to uh, Guy Walsh, who uh, supported me the other week um, on uh, buying me a coffee. The link is down below. So if you fancy supporting me on um, the channel, helps along. You don't have to; it's not compulsory. Um, link's down below. So thanks very much, Guy. Thanks for, much for your uh, appreciation and uh, your support.